push it if we took a holiday took some time to celebrate da, 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 da. <laughs> Welcome to my video which is going to be all about your holiday essentials. By the time you're watching this I am going to be on my holidays and I'm so excited I can't begin to tell you. Now as I was collecting a few things I thought it's a good idea to mention that in my video. Oh I've got a dog down here who wants some fuss now. He's such a fuss pop. So what I'm going to do is go through a few of my favourites with you. And hopefully not get bitten by Harley in the meantime and to tell you why I think these are a good idea to take on holiday. So my first thing that I want to mention to you is this marvellous coconut oil. I use this one from coconut oil and I'll tell you why. It's organic and it is certified virgin organic coconut oil and it's really really good. Now normally I get a great big pot but this is quite a small-ish pot and I've kept it all sealed up just in case there's any issues with um, getting it across the board or anything like that. It's all sealed so they can see that. Now, what I use this for is good for so many things. It's good for if you get problems with your ears and you're away, you can just get a little dab and just put it on the outside. I've got that actually from the doctor. They said you can use this if you've got itchy ear problems due to water. Um, you can also use it to put all over your skin and if you're walking around in shorts and t-shirt, it's a great time to get it on because obviously it takes a little while to get into the skin. It's really, really good for your skin. It's all natural, so anything that gets absorbed is gonna be good for you. If you decide you want to eat it, it's also very very good for the gut um, but you might not want to eat that because it depends on your personal taste whether you like it or whether you don't so don't forget your coconut oil don't forget as well though it won't give you a barrier against sun protection um, my opinion on sun protection is we are all getting a little bit vitamin D deficient because we are putting sun cream on the second we go out in the sun so why not try and get a little bit of sun and then put your sun cream on just to stop you from burning um, my sun cream that I've chosen this year is for a change I've chosen this one which is a Malibu I've only got a number six because the temperature is not going to be too horrific out there um, and it smells divine it smells of coconut which I love to be honest that lid worries me slightly so I am going to wrap that in a carrier bag because if that was to leak out in your case it's just an oil liquid oil it's going to go everywhere all over your clothes it smells lovely I've seen a lot of people use these on holiday I normally use Nivea but I felt Nivea was a bit expensive this year and they weren't putting it on half price or anything um, plus it was very difficult to find one with only six on it now for me um, I suppose maybe because I'm used to the Sun but six is enough to stop me from burning in any temperature so um, that will be fine so if I need it then that's what I've got it's also also water resistant and I think it looks like very much a holiday kind of thing to take on your travels with you don't forget your toothpaste I'm not sure yet whether to take the tiny one or the big one because we are going with four of us and I don't see the point in anybody ta everybody taking a little one so I may just decide that I don't know if that's going to be enough for a week it probably will but then if you run out you've got to go to the shops and buy some it totally defeats the object um, but what I'm trying to do here is to get everything like miniature and because if you've only got 15 kilograms which is a ridiculously silly amount of of luggage and you're not a light traveler then you know what do you do we'll probably take the small one leave this one at home um, but on top of that I've got another suggestion for you on keeping your weights down in the case shampoo and conditioner I did buy um, two small bottles like that see that's a bigger one whoops there you go um, with the plan of just taking one of these this is got um, that's 200 millilitres again for four people for a week we're going to be washing our hair every day I'm not sure that's going to be big enough but that let me tell you these herbal essences shampoos for a professional hairdresser to recommend something off the shelf is pretty much unheard of one of my customers that came to me time and again her hair always felt amazing so I said to her what do you use she said herbal essences I said I'm gonna try that and it's a brilliant shampoo it isn't quite as good as the professional stuff I use in my salon which of course it shouldn't be either but I think we're probably gonna end up taking those two big ones and what I was gonna say you can if you want bubble bath you can put your shampoo in if you want shower gel you can use your shampoo it has got pretty much the same ingredients and if you don't believe me go to your bathroom and check 
if you look on the back, nearly all the ingredients on there are generally the same or very, very similar to what you're gonna get in bubble bath and shower gel. So I will be taking this and it will do everything. Don't forget your plasters. If you're anything like me, you will end up with something wrong with your foot and you've got no plasters to cover it and it can be really dangerous. So always take plasters and take elastic plaster because they are the best. They will generally stay on a lot longer than the cheapy ones, so that's definitely worth getting. Don't forget your emery board. Oh, this is a bit beaten up, this one, isn't it? I've just pulled out my small one. I actually keep this at the side of my bed. It's not one that I use very often, but it's there for emergencies because pretty much assured you're gonna get a little snag nail and it will annoy you and you'll keep doing that and biting it. So take one of those. In case of mosquitoes, you need your mosquito spray. Always use the best. Again, don't buy anything that's not. This has got um, number four, which is the strongest. And I really do recommend that you give yourself a quick spray. Actually, another little tip for this, you're gonna like this one. You're gonna like this one a lot. If you have got your underwear on, you're fresh out the shower now, unfortunately it spoils the fresh out the shower feeling. Go to the other side of the room, take in a deep breath, hold your breath, spray yourself head to foot in this and walk away from the cloud of stuff you're leaving behind before you breathe again because you don't want to get this in your lungs, it's really not good. So there's my tip for that. Makeup wipes because when you get in after watching the entertainment, which of course is going to be amazing, you're not going to be bothered to take your makeup off. So quickly get your makeup wipes and just give it a quick whooshy over and then that will be great. The bright pink bikini because it makes your suntan look really good. That makes that look as big as my face. Okay, and the bottoms, don't forget the bottoms. Don't forget your money. Um, I made a little error there, because there's an old euro in there, so I don't know if they're gonna take that. If not, I'll just bring it back and get it changed up. But yeah, I've got my euros from Thompson, because they do do it for um, zero percent, whether you've booked your holiday with them or not. So that's good. And at the minute, the euro is really good, so you get more for your money. So I would suggest going to Europe this year for your holidays. Little nail varnish remover pads, because you don't really wanna have to take the whole shebang. These, um, you can get these in super dry, just really small really cheap they're not as good as using normal nail varnish remover and um, the little cotton bud pad things but they are good and I'm gonna just show you just like that look so you take one out and you just rub it over your nails and you get your nail varnish off but if you wanted to treat yourself you can go and get them done in the hotel probably you may have seen these before in my Primark haul video with Jasmine we both bought our flip flops and we did this on our thumbnail shot which was really funky um, of course they're coming with me now these aren't the poshest ones in the world but they're a backup plan so if my other ones were to break I've got those as well holiday hair essentials now, a banana clip it's the easiest way to style your hair if it's in a mess and you've got it wet pop it in a banana clip and then it looks like you've got a really long ponytail down the back obviously a couple of little simple bands because you want to tie them up some bobby pins so that you can do something funky like i like to tie a bit up like that clip that up if you've seen that seen me do that before and it's just so easy take a few bobby pins just put them in the bottom of your makeup bag um so they don't get lost put them inside a little money bag that's a really good idea the only place really you can get away with having a flower in your hair is when you're on holiday especially in spain so you could either like bobby pin those couple of bits up or this one's got a flower with a little slide so just slide it up you look like you're going on holiday for the evening well I am going on holiday oh before I do in respect for my lovely friends at Global Stars I've got a snack to take for the pub journey now if you don't know what I'm on about M&M's Global Stars you need to check out my you need to check out my London vlog which was not long ago and you will understand the relevance to M&M's there's a big packet there enough for four people because sometimes you need to break that 8 to 20 rule um, if you don't know what I'm talking about there you need to see my nutrition vlogs as well so a big packet of M&M's in in love and respect for my Global Stars friends and we will be taking these with us as our snack I will be vlogging the entire holiday and you will see 
me with my flower in my hair, me with my banana clip looking messy, me with no makeup, me with lots of makeup, me with a dress, me with my denim shorts. I forgot to tell you about denim shorts. <sighs> my denim shorts are over there nearly packed, but don't forget your denim shorts because everybody wears denim shorts on holiday and they look so funky and so groovy. So I would like to say thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, wiggle them thumbs, and I will look forward to seeing you later. I'm going to hopefully get this up before we fly tomorrow and I will love it if you can check out my holiday videos. I don't know if I'm going to be actually having any Wi-Fi while I'm out there. If I don't then I'll be um, just filming them and, and editing upload as I can when I get back. So I'd like to hear where you're going on your holidays this year if you've booked it, if you haven't. Um, and meanwhile I wish you all a very happy Easter whether you celebrate or whether you don't I hope you have a lovely few days with your family if that's the sort of thing that you want to do got some eggs over there but don't tell anyone because they're a secret and they're hiding so um, they're hiding will they have seen them by the time the film goes up I don't know but anyway so I hope you have a lovely holiday over the weekend and much love from me and thanks again for watching I do appreciate your being there it's so lovely and I just want to finish, if you've watched all this way, with a small teaser. I have been working very, very hard on a selection of videos and blog posts, which I need to finish off. I'll probably be working on those again over my holiday. And they will be released one at a time over the next, um, probably in about three weeks time. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please click subscribe because you don't want to miss it because there's some quite exciting news that you're going to see. Um, and some quite, I've been quite brave as well. So there you go. So make sure you don't miss out on that. But meanwhile, take care and I'll see you really soon. Bye.